Well, rain showers slid in throughout the evening. They're going to be with us into tomorrow morning. It's all part of a sprawling weather system stretching from uh, northern Wisconsin all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Looks like all the severe weather ongoing across the Gulf now fizzling out, but still some strong storms on that end. We won't see any storms out of this, but some soaking rainfall likely through the night and into early tomorrow morning. You can see those downpours still staying just south of us for now, but that heavier rain does slide in after midnight. So that might wake you up a little bit. Could have a heavier shower come through once or twice overnight. Locally right now, it's just a light rainfall, possibly a couple little blips of heavier rain every so often popping up south of Dixon. So uh, we will continue to have the steady rain all throughout the rest of the uh, night. Kind of good sleeping weather here. As you can see, future tracks showing the rainfall really not letting up for a while. There's those heavier showers coming in at about 1 in the morning. Not necessarily downpours, but you may notice a little bit of a difference there as that soaking rain comes through. That'll continue until about sunrise, then it moves off towards Chicago, so we won't have to deal with it anymore. But if you're traveling in that direction, be aware the rain showers do get just a little heavier at times the closer you get to Lake Michigan. Later on in the morning, we see the rain showers starting to dry up. May take until about the middle of the morning or so about 10 o'clock 11 o'clock in the morning before the rain is out and then we're high and dry for quite some time. So as you plan your day out, rain, especially early in the morning, things looking a little drier by the middle of the morning, rest of the day, cloudy, cool, and breezy with no rain showers. Now, if you're heading out for the holidays and you're traveling north, watch out for a little snow mixing in north of Madison and Milwaukee. So these spots could have some slightly slushy roads, as you can see, while everywhere else is just looking at a cold rain throughout the morning. Same timing here, we get to about 10, 11 in the morning and any kind of wintry mixture is out north of us. So overall, as you look at the kind of regional travel outlook, if you're heading out early for the holidays, wet tomorrow morning, but then starting tomorrow afternoon and the rest of the week, we've got dry conditions. So that is great news for any holiday travelers. Later this week, it just gets colder. That's really the only difference without the weather really slowing you down. Tomorrow, slightly colder, 42 for a high, under a cloudy sky with some breezy conditions. And then it's all about the sunshine throughout the remainder of the week, at least through the holiday. Middle 40s for highs, bright sunny weather for Thanksgiving, looking right on average for this time of year. Friday does get a little cloudy as we begin to cool off. We're down just barely above freezing through the rest of the holiday weekend. And your most accurate 10 day forecast, that could be the theme for a while. You see that temperatures stay in the 30s once they drop starting Friday. In the 4 degree guarantee forecast of 47, a little off the bullseye, but overall cash total up over $100. Hoping to add on a lot more to that throughout the week.